guys, it's Rena, and I'm actually back from my trip to Europe, uh, finally back in Florida after a month. Um, I had a blast, and it was a ton of fun, um, but I'm very happy to be back home and kind of get back into the normal swing of things. And I really wanted to share all of the beauty purchases that I made when I was abroad. Um, I mean, at first I was like, I'm not going to buy any makeup. I have too much makeup. And then I was really thinking, you know, when am I really going to be back? I, you never know. And I decided I wanted to pick up some things that either I couldn't get here or were harder to get in the States. Um, so I wanted to share my beauty haul, uh, including makeup, skincare, and some um, perfumes, actually, that I got from Paris and Dublin. So I have all my stuff down here on my little table, um, and I'm just going to be reaching from there as I go and telling you guys about what I bought. Um, I might do a couple swatches. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to jump on into it and show you guys what I got from Europe. I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys some different makeup items. So the first thing that I got was actually nail polish, and this is from Bourjois. It is the One Second Texture Silicone Gel Polish. I'm not actually sure what the color name is on this. I've been looking and I couldn't find it. Um, but it is kind of like this moody blue color. It was really beautiful and I wore it for a couple days when I was in Paris. Um, it did chip very fast, very easily, but it went on really nicely and opaque and very. it was very easy to apply. So, um, kind of mixed feelings on this, but I think it would be nice if you just wanted something special for a day or two and then you didn't really care about the chipping. Um, this was a pretty polish, but something that I didn't think was as easily accessible here. And I needed a nail polish. Um, I bought another nail polish as well. This is the Sephora brand. Um, not sure what it's actually called, but it's just one of the little polishes that was like three euro fifty. Um, I got this for the conference that I had to present at because I figured red was a pretty, um, you know, staple standard color that I could get away with. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't anything special, just a nail polish. I got something from the Lollipops brand, which is a French brand. It's kind of like a mid-end, like halfway between drugstore and like high-end. And this was actually at Sephora. I had a really hard time opening it, so that's why it's so beat up. Um, and I didn't realize that I could just like pull it up from here. It's really difficult to do. Ooh. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, it comes with like a little cotton pad thing like this and the pearls. Um, it's very reminiscent of the uh, Guerlain Meteorites, which I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a dupe for. Um, I'm going to do a comparison video on those uh, because I actually, I guess now is the time to tell you about this one, picked up the Guerlain Meteorites. Um, I know you can get these in the United States, but I really wanted to have the experience of going to an actual Guerlain store and buying it from the counter. Um, I never really do that, so this was like the one time that I you know, was actually going to splurge a little bit. And this is in the shade Too Light. Um, I've used this a couple times, and I really want to do a video on um, this compared to the Lollipops. It comes in the really adorable metal container. And when you pull it off, it has a cotton puff as well. And the pretty, pretty pearls. It's been really nice to just give me a nice extra glow to my face. Um, nothing too shimmery, just a little extra something, and I've really been enjoying it so far. It has a lovely fragrance. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to get that while I was in France because I've wanted it for a long time but never really bit the bullet. And now is kind of the time to splurge, I guess. Uh, the next thing I got was actually something that I know you can get you know, online, but this is the Silic Solstice Palette. It's kind of dirty, so sorry about that. I've been traveling with it, and I've been using it as my mirror in my purse for the plane and everything. And this is just what it looks like, the gold packaging. And on the inside, you get four highlighters. I've been using these two uh, because I only brought one highlighter with me from the States, and I was kind of getting tired of it, so I was really happy to find this. Um, it was sold out almost everywhere, and this was the last one. So I really want to do a video on this too eventually. I know a lot of people have, but I've worn it throughout conferences, walking around, all sorts of things, and I want to just share my experience with this and, um, you know, the quality and everything. A lot of this is like highlighting products, which is kind of out of the ordinary for me. Um, okay, I got an eyeshadow from Yves Rocher. Uh, this is like a, I, I think it was a vegan brand. It, they kept saying that all their stuff is made from vegetables and, and everything, and I really wanted to try an eyeshadow. So I bought this one as I accidentally shoved my thumb into it and 
oh well. Um, this is what it looks like here. It's just a tealish eyeshadow with kind of a blue micro shimmer, like a pearlized shimmer. Um, I'm trying to see, it's called, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation. I did get better at my French pronunciation, but it's Ver Canard, V-E-R, I don't know if you can see it, V-E-R-T-C-A-N-A-R-D. Anyway, it, I used it one time, and it was very nice, good texture. It applied very well and blended very well. Um, it did stain my eyelids minimally, but it wasn't bad. And I, I'm happy to have tried like something from this brand since they were all over Paris. Uh, I got something from Caudalie, and this is the uh, beauty elixir, basically. You can get this in the States as well, but I wanted to have the experience of buying it from a... French pharmacy, which are like really big over there for beauty and skincare. So it's just like, um, a, I guess a toner water kind of thing, a beauty water. Um, you just spray it either before or after your makeup, throughout the day, whatever you want. Very similar to Max Fix Plus. The scent actually makes me kind of sick. It's a little strong and medicinal almost. So that kind of bothers me, but it actually, it feels really nice on the skin and I think it does make a visible difference. Um, another thing I was actually recommended was to go to Kiko Milano on the Rue Rivoli, and I got three things from Kiko. They were having a big sale. I got this eyeliner in, let's see if it has a shade name, it's just 05. It's this kind of like tealish shade. Let me go ahead and swatch this. It's really pretty. It's like a black and teal. Um, which is totally up my alley. I love greens. I love blues and teals, all that. Uh, the next thing I got from them was a long-lasting eyeshadow stick, eight-hour no-transfer eyeshadow in this color because you know you know me. I love my purples and blues. This is in the shade, uh, let's see, 31. This one is gorgeous. I haven't worn it on the lid yet, but it's like a periwinkle blue with a beautiful purple shift. I don't know if you can see the purple at all. But it's very creamy. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it'll be nice, even if I just use it as a base. And then the last thing from Kiko Milano is a lip pencil, smart lip pencil in the shade 715, which is a purple shade, and I love purple lipstick. So I really wanted this one, and it's just kind of like a grayish purple. I think it'll go well with a couple purple lipsticks that I own. Uh, let's see, the two things that I really splurged on um, were from Sephora on Champs-Élysées and these are exclusive to the Champs-Élysées Sephora they were not in any of the other Sephora's I saw around Paris and not only that but you can only get them in Paris or Japan and it is the La Durée brand they also make pastries and macarons they, macarons. they have a shop across the way from the Sephora um, and this is the Les Marveilleux La Durée Paris. This is the pressed cheek color case. So basically what they do is they sell you the case, which is adorable. It has uh, the cameo on it. It's white with gold accents. Very nice size. Good compact. I love that it has a mirror. And then it's empty. And you have to buy the blush. There's also a brush at the bottom, which is nice. It's actually a really soft brush and I think it would actually work relatively well. And the blush you have to buy separately. So, you know it's expensive. Um, the blush here looks like... Okay, I already nicked it once, so I'm going to try not to do it again. It's a cameo. And I got this kind of mauve shade. And this is the shade Josephine. I bought Josephine because... Um, I mean, I was there... You know, I was really there just to do research and study, and I study the French Revolution and Napoleon, and so Josephine was Napoleon's first wife, and so I had to have this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here eventually, but I just, for travel, I wanted to keep them in their separate boxes. The case was 15 euro, and the actual blush was 37, so it was very expensive, but she kind of suckered me into it because she was like, you can only get it here, and like, this is exclusive to Champs-Élysées, and I was like, you know, all right, I really wanted something like that, so, okay. Two more things from Sleek. I found these at the Dublin airport. Uh, they are two of the like iodine palettes. This one is the Whimsical Wonderland palette. Let me go ahead and try and open it so you guys can just peek inside. 
looks like this. It's a very me kind of pastel palette. Some of the shades are better than others. I've used it a couple times. It was okay. And then I got the original Eye Divine palette, like the very first one. Um, ooh, okay, that looks like this. And again, these aren't really my style, but it was a buy one, get one half off thing. So I got both of these for around like 15 euro, which is not bad at all um, compared to how much it would be to order in the United States. So I wasn't complaining. Uh, and then I got one last palette here from France. This is the Lollipops brand again, um, the Smoky Champelizé palette. I thought it was so special because it was actually, um, like you can, where, where, where we are, let me see, let me, where are we? Yeah, 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 it's like Champelizé and you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background. And when you open it up, there's the Arc de Triomphe and it says, uh, the, the secret of a Parisian. And then it says, uh, the arc of my eyes is a triumph. So it's really cute because on the Champs-Élysées, it, it's a big shopping district. And you walk like straight up the street and the Arc de Triomphe is right there. So um, this was special to me, even if I don't even use the eyeshadows, just because of the arc. And I went to Champs-Élysées so many times just because I felt kind of safer there when I was on my own. And like I really loved the view. So, And the last makeup item that I got from my trip was from Inglot. They had a freestanding store in Dublin, and I got one of the Freedom palettes. This um, this is one of the five pan palettes. They, this is the smallest one they had, and then the next one up was a 10. And I, I was debating between getting the five and the 10, and ended up going with the five. I figured I can always just order the 10 at home, you know, or find a store or something or whatever. But here it is. I really wanted to make one of these. I made a purple and kind of tealish palette, kind of seafoam green. Um, I don't remember the exact colors anymore, but yeah, it basically just goes this way, and they're really beautiful. I especially love this shade here. I do remember this one is 388. I mean, that's that's like the perfect me color. I don't remember what the, the color name on that one is, but it has beautiful shimmer. So um, I'm excited to use this a lot, and it's very sturdy, really good for travel. Um, and I'm going to keep it in the box for now. So that's all the makeup items I have, but I have two other things. This is from the Salvador Dali Museum that there was in Montmartre, and it is a collection of five perfumes with really cool Salvador Dali-inspired bottles. Um, this is the women's collection. There was a men's. Um, I actually liked some of the scents in the men's better, but I really like the bottles in this one. So I got that, and then this I got from Versailles. This is um, really funny because it's my name. I never find my name on keychains or anything. And then of all things, I find it on a perfume set. So apparently I'm a bourbon princess, guys. So yeah, these were really cute bottles as well. And they all smelled amazing. They don't have a very long lasting power in terms of like wear. But um, they were really, really, they smelled really nice and they were appealing. So that was my makeup haul from... Paris and Dublin. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I have a couple other things that came in the mail while I was gone that I need to talk about in videos. Um, so I'll be getting those done today too. So if you see the same outfit and makeup, you know, just forgive me. Um, also my hair um, is highly faded. It seriously got so um, just stripped from the water in Paris. All the pink is like out of it in the front. You can see here that I still have some color hanging around, but yeah, most of it's pretty stripped. Um, I'm going to my hairdresser tomorrow to get it redone, so we'll see what ends up happening from there, but yeah, I'm excited to get it cut and colored again. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later, and thank you for watching.